Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the lung. What are the identifying points? We have numerous honeycomb like lung alveoli the bronchiole with smooth muscle the terminal bronchiole the the respiratory bronchiole alveolar duct occasionally we may we may get cartilages of the bronchus blood vessels and lymphatic so if you go to the histology of the lung we should have some idea about the bronchial tree we have the trachea, one trachea for two lung, the trachea bifurcates, and we'll get the primary bronchi. Well, this is the left primary bronchus, right primary bronchus. Each primary bronchus for each lung. So left primary bronchus for left lung, right primary bronchus for the entire right lung. Then we'll get secondary bronchus, secondary bronchus for the lobes of the lung. Then we have the segmental bronchus. These are for the bronchopulmonary segments. So the division will continue. So there will be division, several divisions we'll get, and ultimately we'll get the bronchiole. So the trachea, primary bronchus, secondary bronchus, segmental bronchus, also called tertiary bronchus, they bifurcate repeatedly and forms the bronchial tree. Branches of bronchial tree with a diameter of less than one millimeter is called bronchiole. Bronchioles are lined by simple columnar or keyboardal ciliated cell, but the trachea, primary bronchus, secondary bronchus, tertiary bronchus, they are lined by the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. But in the, in the bronchiole, we'll get simple columnar or a keyboardal ciliated cell. Bronchiole has circular smooth muscle, but no cartilages. In the trachea, primary bronchus, secondary bronchus, tertiary bronchus, we we'll get cartilages. They will continue and they will they continue to divide. They will have cartilages at the level of the bronchiole. There will be there is no cartilage, but they have smooth muscle. Terminal bronchiole are coming out of the bronchiole, and they are lined by simple keyboardal epithelium. So the tall columnar epithelium is going to be squeezed gradually, going down their height. And in the terminal bronchiole, we'll also get the club cells. Old name was Clara cell. The club cells has many functions. It produces surfactant like that of pneumocyte type 2. It is also antimicrobial, protect our lung from infection. It is also detoxifying function because it contains plenty of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Club senses innate immune and bronchus surfactant secreting function. These are present in the terminal bronchiole. So we'll go to the respiratory bronchiole. Respiratory bronchiole are coming out of the terminal bronchiole. So here the respiratory bronchiole, then we'll get alveolar duct, alveolar sac, and we'll get the alveoli. These are alveoli. These pockets are the alveoli. We'll get the vein. Again, this is the alveoli. Respiratory bronchioles are branched out of terminal bronchiole. Okay, we'll get the respiratory bronchi have scattered alveoli. We'll get some alveoli. Okay, then we'll get the alveolar duct here, and number of alveoli will be increased. These are the alveoli. Then we'll get the alveolar sac. This is a collection of the 
alveoli and we get the alveoli these are the pockets these are the alveoli okay so we have the cell type two special type of cell in the lung one is the pneumocyte type 2 cell it is present in the alveoli of the of the lung the alveoli of the lung are mostly the type 1 cell those are simple squamous cell very much flattened cell around 5 percent cells are the pneumocyte type 2 cell they are rounded cell their main purpose is to produce surfactant and to decrease sur surface tension surfactant is composed of phospholipid and proteins we have also another type of cell we call it club club cell whole name was clara cell these are the clara cells or club cell they have secretory granules they have multiple function like antimicrobial function they have also surfactant producing function and they have also cytotoxic function they are rich in organelle like that of smooth endoplasmic reticulum and also rough endoplasmic reticulum the alveoli these are the pocket these are the alveoli honeycomb appearance they are lined by type 1 alveolar cell mostly and also lined by type 2 alveolar cell alveolar cell are also called pneumocyte type 1 pneumocyte type 2 we have connective tissue around the alveoli and we have capillary in inside that connective tissue and wall between the two alveoli we have the capillary the connective tissue is composed of reticular fiber and elastic fiber and the capillary is the continuous capillary it is not fenestrated not dilated it is a it, these are the continuous capillaries okay so if you look at this this image this is the alveolar wall we have the type 1 cell this is very much attenuated simple squamous cell we have the type 2 cell these are rounded cell their main purpose is to produce the surfactant with the capillaries in the wall of the alveoli capillaries containing the rbcs here this shown here rbcs and we have also some macrophages macrophages are present on the luminal surface also in the wall of the alveolar wall these macrophages are wandering phagocytic cell but this macrophage may contain dust or carbon part particle we call it dust cell they contain the debris of the blood vessel of the blood the rbc especially in congestive heart failure we call it call these macrophages as heart failure cell okay so here is the wall of the of the alveoli we have the type 1 cell and the capillary they produce the blood air barrier so the this this is capillary this is the capillary endothelial cell which is which is basal lamina this is a type 1 pneumocyte it's basal lamina this forms the blood air barrier here is air this is blood so blood air barrier the next image will see it that nicely so this is an alveoli alveoli are communicated by alveolar pore or pore or pore of cone okay so these are the pores between the alveoli that equalize the pressure between the alveoli the wall of the alveoli and this is lined by simple squamous epithelium like this that is one type one cell pneumocyte type one cell occasionally we will get also the type 2 cell this is a rounded cell its main purpose to produce the surfactant and we will get alveolar macrophages macrophages may be inside the wall between the between the alveoli or maybe on the surface if it contain carbon or dust we call it dust 
dust cell, if it contains the debris of RBC, then we call it heart failure cell. This is the blood gas barrier. It is formed by the, by the type 1 pneumocyte, its basal lamina, basal lamina of the endothelial cell. So what happened? Carbon dioxide from the blood capillary are going out and from the air, oxygen is getting in and this is the blood air barrier also called respiratory membrane. Okay, so we have to go through the highlight what we have learned, identifying point. We have multiple numerous pocket like honeycomb like alveoli. We may get the bronchiole, the terminal bronchiole, respiratory bronchiole, the alveolar sac, alveolar duct, and alveoli. We may get pieces of cartilages, blood vessels, lymphatics. Lining epithelium, we have two types of epithelium inside the luminal surface of the alveoli. Type 1, that is simple squamous, very much attenuated flat cells that take part in gaseous exchange. Type 2 cell, main purpose is to produce surfactant, decrease surface tension. Type 1, type 2 alveolar cell. Bronchial tree, we have the trachea, then primary bronchus, secondary bronchus. Touch here your segmental bronchus, then division will continue. We'll get to the bronchiole. That bronchiole has diameter less than one millimeter. Then we'll get the terminal bronchiole that also contains the clara cells. Macrophages are present in the wall of the alveoli, inside the intraalveolar wall. It may be dust containing the so dust cell, the carbon particles, especially for people who work in the industry like coal mine okay or any dust area or people with congestive heart failure we may get debris of the rbc inside the macrophage we call it heart failure cell Clubs, club cells old name was clara cell okay that has many functions one is antimicrobial function another it also produces surfactant and it has also detoxifying function and capillary in the wall of the alveoli are continuous capillary Blood air barrier is formed by the type 1 pneumocyte, its basal lamina, basal lamina of the endothelial cell and the endothelial cell. Okay, so these are my references and that's all about the histology of the lung. If you like my video, please support my channel. Please subscribe me, share the information with your friends. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me and have a nice day. Bye now.